What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Everything Averin. We're actually in the garage right now, excuse the mess, but when there's a mess in the garage, that means there's another project going on, which is exactly what we're doing today. I got my brother here, Carlos. We're actually gonna be doing some stuff to his vehicle today. The project we got laid out is actually some audio for this thing. He has 2019 Kia Optima only has the factory system so we definitely couldn't just stick with that because with everything Averin we got to go over the top so what we got here is of course the 1100 watt boss amp of course all the wires and the cables you need for it the LLC which will be hooking up here shortly and the 12 inch Kenwood sub first things first we got to figure out how to get to the back of the dash if you're ever working with audio or anything electronic on a vehicle disconnect the battery we got the negative cable unplugged right there so we're safe, good to go. So I'm coming to this side of the car so you guys can get a better look at it. So I'm gonna let him take over from here. What's the first things we do today? So first thing we gotta pay attention to is clips. These clips are very, very tight, so be careful when pulling them off. Uh, pull off the panel on the side, you're gonna have one Phillips right there. See right here, you're gonna have two more Phillips that you're gonna remove. Once those are done, it's time to pull the clips. Pull with this part, uh, this seems to be a little more sturdy. Once you get this off, be careful right here. This is very flimsy. You don't want to break it. Now you're going to pull up this panel. Cool thing about it, only have to do the passenger side. So again, be careful. I started down here first and pulled it all the way off. It's going to expose one Phillips, two, and three. Now once we remove those, we're almost done. Pop off this center section. Be very careful. So this Kia actually reminds me of the Scion, which is actually out in the street right now, because it's held together by nothing but zip ties and clips. Not to put a little negative on Kias, because Kias are amazing, but I just noticed the similarities between the Scion and this guy. Let's see, got a little stubborn cable here. Ah, there you go. So guys, we got the centerpiece off, and as you saw a little bit ago, I unplugged that one cable that's here. So now we're actually gonna try to be getting to this bezel um, I believe that's what we're gonna be tackling next which looks like there's two clips right here uh, so we're gonna try to get that off right now and then we'll move on from there all right guys so we just got off that bezel thing and it was pretty difficult as you guys can see in the little time lapse and it looks like there's a total of what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah there's a whole lot of clips on it fingers are kind of hurting but we got past it so now on to the actual screen right, next we have four Phillips screws so one two three four on that side they're pretty deep, so you're probably going to need a long Phillips head. So now that we got the four screws, carefully go ahead and remove the head unit. As you can see, there's a bunch of clips for various functions. Um, this audio unit serves for a bunch of different things, not just the radio for this particular vehicle. So now that the radio's out, we got to do some tedious work and figure out which are the two rear speaker outputs. The easiest way to do so is just trying to find a wiring diagram online for the radio, in this case 2019 Optima. Now is where probably the most important piece of the show comes into play. This is a LOC, also called a line out converter. What this does gives you the ability to use your stock head unit and set up an aftermarket amplifier and subwoofer. So one of the things we found when we first disconnected the head unit was two side-by-side -side connectors that at first glance look pretty similar. The wiring diagram got a little confusing, but once we understood which connectors were being described, uh, it made it a little easier to understand. So looking at the head unit, it would be the connector on the right that is of interest. We found the four different speaker leads. So we have blue and red, which would be the rear left, and then you have green and orange, which would be the rear right. And then we found brown and white, even though it looks purple on the diagram, it's white. Um, that is the front left, and then black and yellow is the front right. So we're gonna be using today, guys, is just some quick splices, some weatherproof quick splices. Pretty much, you slide them over the main wire that you're actually gonna be splicing into, and they'll fit right in the little groove. 
and then you actually will come through with the other wire and there's another slot in these little quick splices where the wires from the LLC in this case will fit right in clamp them down with some needle noses and there's your connection hopefully you guys can see it's kind of hard to see the wire that we're splicing into is right on that left hand side of the quick splice and then we'll be sticking in the wire on that other hole on the right side just like that and boom clamp down good to go So we got all of our quick splices in there for the speaker wires themselves, one for the R negative, R positive, and of course the other side R negative, R positive. All we got left is this little green one here, which is the ground, which will feed both brown ground wires too, and we will be done. So I'm not going to videotape that part, so I'll see you on the second part. One thing I wanted to point out is when you're doing audio stuff or electrical stuff, do not reassemble quite yet because you want to make sure it works before you actually put everything back on so don't ask me how i know that but nonetheless just leave it apart until you get to the part where you're actually going to power up the vehicle now that we're done with the hard part which is the interior wiring behind the deck we're actually going to do the fun part now we're going to make our way outside the car and we'll talk about what we got here i'm not too familiar with audio wiring so i'm gonna let my brother take it away from here Awesome, so for this install, um, I chose the Boss Audio R1100M. Uh, it is a mono block, so it only has one channel for a subwoofer. It's 1100 watts peak, about 500 watts RMS. I'm not trying to break any sound competition records, I just want some good low end bass. It did come with a bass knob, uh, which will definitely run up to a cool place under the dash. Uh, we have a negative uh, cable that'll come from the amp, positive with an inline fuse, very important so you don't hurt things. Uh, we got those RCA wires which will run all the way up to that new LOC we just installed. Uh, we got a real important wire, this is a remote wire, so we have to run this to a accessory or a switch 12 volt. That way the amp won't stay on when we turn the vehicle off and then of course come on whenever we turn it on. And then last but not least, that speaker wire. And you can't forget the sub in the back. So we'll get going on this and we'll probably do like some time lapses mixed in with us talking just so we can get the video going quicker and y'all can see what the end product will be. All right guys, so we got the amp situated where we're gonna probably put it. It's not screwed in yet, but we're gonna have it mounted to the back of the back seat as you can see here. And we're just kind of laying out the RCA wires as well as the power wire. One thing my brother was saying is generally you don't wanna run your power wire and your RCA wires on the same side of the vehicle. So as you can see, RCAs will go on the right side and we'll do the power wire on this side. But one thing we ran into with this vehicle is that there's no existing grommet hole up underneath here to route the power wire through so we can make it all the way to the front. Being the creative minds that we are, we figured out that there's a little hole on this side of the, the side of the fender as well as one more on this side. So what we're probably gonna do is run the wire here, come through the side of the vehicle, behind the driver's side fender and hopefully you guys can see but there's a little bit of light at the end of this tunnel which actually keeps the wire behind the fender but then you can actually feed into the engine bay from there so i think that's what we're going to do right, so we run into another challenge on trying to get this wire from this side of the fender all the way to the front it's a long wire and it droops so we couldn't get it to keep it straight all the way through so we got some ac duct zip ties about 36 inch zip tie and now we have a rigid structure that should allow us to feed all the way through. There it is. So we're going to tie that cord to this, pull it back through, and we're good to go. update on how we had this wire ran so as you can see we have it in the engine bay right now and this is from one side there's actually a space between the fender and the inner chassis of the vehicle it comes down it's nowhere near interfering with the door and the hinges and you come all the way down behind the connection and there's actually a little opening inside the cabin this little rubber looking grommet thing so I'll probably just cut a groove into this 
so that this will sit on the grommet rather than on the metal. From the other side, there's another little grommet, this larger one here, and same thing. Come on this side, cut a groove, and simply just follow it down all the way through the side. We use that same large zip tie to feed up underneath the back passenger seat and came back up and out. So now when we have the amp mounted in its spot, it's gonna work perfect, fit perfect, and it reached perfect. Now we're gonna be doing the RCA wire, which in addition to the RCA wire, we're gonna be moving the remote wire, as well as the connection for the base knob, which will be up front. So just like the last time, we're gonna route it through, fish it through with the little zip tie. And this time we don't have to go outside into the engine bay, which is awesome. So once we get up here to the front, we'll just go behind the dash, and out here to the middle. So we finally got those wires routed through behind the seat. This side was uh, a lot tighter and a lot more difficult for some reason. Took us like five tries as you saw in the time lapse. But here's all our cables. On this side we got the RCA remote wire and the bass knob wire. And on that side is the power wire and there's our amp. So now we're just gonna finish routing these to the front and go from there. All right guys, so we finally got the amp mounted in place. So it's good to go nice and sturdy. So what do, we, what do we have next? So now that the amp's mounted, it's time to start getting things connected. So like we showed at the beginning, always make sure you have negative terminal on your battery disconnected because this is the point where you could hurt some things. So one of the main things we're going to have to do is go ahead and crimp our own connectors under the end of the wire. We got to do this for the speaker wires, for the ground, um, power, and remote. Once we do get these crimped under the end, you'll see on this side of the amp, uh, you have connectors, this is going to be your power, your remote turn on, your ground, and then of course the two speaker wires that will go to the We just finished up wiring up the amp and getting most of the wires tucked hopefully you guys can see we got them all down wired up ready to go they go underneath this flap and they go to their various places the only thing we had left was just the large speaker wire cord which will cut to size which we currently connected to the subwoofer but the amp is all done next up on this side of the vehicle we're gonna run those wires tuck them and get this side nice and pretty and ready Alright guys, so we just finished up tucking the wires on this side, which is the remote wire, the RCA wires, and the base wire. So that's pretty much good. I don't want to put all this top side stuff on quite yet until we can actually plug everything back in and get it tested. So we'll make our way to the front here with my brother. He's working on the main power wire. Looks like he already got the inline fuse there. We're going to figure out a spot to mount that guy. You always want to put those close to the battery. So yeah, we'll get this put onto the positive terminal and we're that much closer to getting it turned on. And just like that, we are done with the power wire. Brother's gonna actually mount the fuse right there on the side of the fuse box and we're actually gonna move on to the inside of the vehicle. So we made our way back inside, like I said, and we are getting ready to actually install the deck back in. We got everything routed, both on this side for the remote wire, the RCAs and everything. Power wire is already on the battery, as you guys saw. So now all that's left is plugging this in. So we'll go ahead and start that, cross our fingers and hopefully this will work. So now it's the moment of truth. We got this just kind of sitting there loosely just because once again, we want to make sure we test it out before we go. So I'm gonna let him turn it on and we will see what we do. So far so good. Amp, it's turning on, all the lights are on. That's pretty dang cool. Turn it on just so we don't run the battery out. And we can go get some ice cream while we're at it. All right. 
point. So we got sound. Oh, there we go. Don't know if y'all can hear it, but it's hitting. We don't have it turned up too loud right now, but nonetheless, it is working. Nice. And with that, guys, it is time to reassemble. So we're just gonna pretty much go in reverse order. Um, first things first, there's the four screws that go and mount the deck in there. Then followed by up clipping in the bezel piece around the deck itself. Then next up, we'll actually be putting in the vents. Then we'll move to the side piece right here. Last but not least, we'll get the main vent. This is with the trim that goes all the way across the dash. There's some screws that go in with all these guys, but nonetheless, that'll be it. are back and reassembled and everything looks great so yeah I think we did a good job today huh it's pretty good and just like that guys we are done for the day another great project in the books we're actually gonna head into town go bump it just because we can now just as always guys if this is your first time to the channel hit that subscribe button below like it if you like what you saw today we'll catch y'all next time What's up guys, welcome back to another beautiful day here in the hot state of Arizona. Brother is actually, no, I don't wanna say that. Um, what do I wanna say? Huh? Oh, I know what I wanna say, yeah. As always, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and turn on your, no, what is it? Oh, I always forget what I say. And he said Abram too. What am I, I'm supposed to say, you, oh, had you too? No, no, you said Abram, you said Abram instead of Abram. Oh, I don't know if oops. You Voila. And we'll wait for this truck to actually go. That kind of stopped it off. We did get this going, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's my neighborhood. <laughs> Found brown and white. Even though it looks purple on the diagram, it's white. That is the front left, and then black and yellow, black and yellow. Yeah. And just like that, guys, we are done for today. Oh, I'm too far. Sorry, bro. I didn't know I was stopping. <laughs> Redo it. All right, guys. And just like that, you went too far forward again. Oh, it's, it's a delay, dude. Okay, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. I just need to look here. Right there is where you need to be. So when right I see there. the camera. About right there? Yeah, about so right there. So I see the camera right there. I'm looking at that. <laughs> just a little. And just like that guys, we are done for today. Another great project in the books. If this is your first time at the channel, like always, hit that subscribe button below, turn on your like, turn on your notification, 